the whole ethos of Indaba is building on what we have today in order to secure a long-term future for our continent and for the people on our continent. So it's all very exciting because it's this opportunity for the transfer of knowledge and experience between those that are experienced and those that who are excited and motivated and challenged by what's going to be ahead of them. This coming year, it will be our 10th year. It's going to be the best event ever. And we're going to take this journey further and further along as we seek to provide energy for the millions of people on the African continent who don't have access to energy. The event will be hosted at the Santon Convention Centre in Joburg, in Santon. Um, we host it there annually every year from its inception and as Brian said this is our 10th edition of the event so we are expecting to host a really large event. During the week of Indaba we have over a thousand participants that attend, we have a large number of uh, exhibitors and we also have exhibition visitors that come through which at the moment are over 3,000. So it's a fairly substantial event um, that's taking place every year and we would really like to try and grow it and include more African as well as global participation in the event. So to kick off with on the Monday, so the event runs for a full week, on the Monday we kick off with the forum looking at the gas opportunities in Africa. So we have a focused workshop looking at gas project opportunities. We are partnering with a global law firm, Norton Rose Fulbright, to help us collate the workshop for the event. And they will be very actively involved in collating that content to ensure that we cover all key issues relating to gas, uh, of which there, there are many, but we will try and cover as much as possible in that specific workshop. We, for the fourth year, we'll be hosting the Women in Energy Conference. Our focus is to develop women in the energy sector, but from middle to executive management level, so that we can get more women ready to join company boards. So our focus is not just on the entrepreneur or emerging women. They are very welcome, but our focus is really to grow women into executive management roles within the energy sector and to find those opportunities. We partner with UN Women, with the African Development Bank and also the South African Department of Energy for that specific program. Very well attended and we get excellent support from both men and women who participate in that conference. So it's not exclusively just for, for women. On the Tuesday we kick off with our main Africa Energy in Darba conference which is where we host um, ministers together with global CEOs, energy companies, project developers, uh, renewable energy companies. So a whole broad range of people will come through and we run our formal Energy in Darba conference. Aligned to that, we will host the Nuclear Forum, which will be the eighth year that we hosted the Nuclear Forum. Um, and I'm sure you're all very aware, living in South Africa, that nuclear is a, a very hot topic here at the moment in our country. And the Nuclear Forum is well supported by all the major vendors. And certain African countries are also looking at nuclear as an option. So we will be discussing the nuclear issues, as well as meeting all the key vendors like Rosatom, Arriva, EDF, um, and all the other, KEPCO, the other key players from around the world. They all participate at that event. We follow that with um, a ministerial dialogue, which is the Energy in Daba Leader Dialogue, and that is a private meeting with global energy CEOs and African energy ministers. Small forum by invitation only, managed by the World Energy Council, and where you could maybe have a global energy company that is interested in investing in Africa and wanting to meet the key players, that is where you could speak to us and say, I have this global company, the CEO, please could we get him invited to attend that specific forum. So that you're welcome to reach out to us and let us know and we can then extend invitations to those people to attend that specific forum. We close off with a cocktail reception where a lot of networking and it's an opportunity for the exhibitors, the conference delegate speakers to all network and mingle. It takes place in the exhibition hall and is very well supported. Even the energy ministers attended, so it, it works really uh, well from a networking perspective. 
Um, Wednesday, we continue with our exhibition and our conference. Added to the conference for the Wednesday is the Southern African Power Pool. We'll be hosting a projects forum, talking specifically to projects with African energy utilities. So they will be collating that program, and we haven't had sight of it yet, but we will share that with you as soon as we have sight of the program from, from SAP. Uh, but very much talking to opportunities with utilities. Thursday, we host the IPP, Independent Power Producer and Power Purchase Agreement Conference. Critical to any energy project is the PPA that is signed and also the opportunities for independent power producers. So we will be hosting a single conference talking to that in project opportunities. We will feature Nigeria as our country of choice in that specific session. We choose the countries purely because there are obviously a lot of African countries. So Every year we try and do different countries, and this year we will do a focused discussion on Nigeria ending off that uh, day. Then Sanya, our partner, will be hosting an energy dialogue looking at um, energy and sustainable mobility. So very much your, your e-mobility, electric vehicles, uh, really looking at the energy of the future around mobility. I think it's a very exciting topic and we've just come back from a World Energy Council meeting in Portugal. It was a huge topic with all the different member countries that represented. So we really believe that that will be an exciting dialogue uh, to consider. And Friday we round off the event with a site visit to ABB, to their solar rooftop installation which is in Longmeadow, very near to Santon. And anyone is welcome, there's no cost to attend. But for many people, they've never seen a solar rooftop installation before, actually seen how it works. So the site visit gives an opportunity for people to unpack how the whole solar uh, rooftop installation can assist companies. Because one of the other areas that we'll focus on heavily at this Indaba is the off-grid energy solution and decentralized energy supply. So we will be talking to those topics extensively. So the, the solar rooftop uh, site visit supports our agenda and where we're wanting to go with Indaba. Um, I also just want to mention our two other partners, which are the NEPAD Planning and Coordinating Agency. NEPAD is the implementation arm of the African Union Commission to implement energy projects in Africa. So NEPAD play a key role in advising us from an African context perspective to ensure that we talk to issues that are really relevant to Africa. Um, they will participate. Prof. El Misri couldn't be here today, but normally he is here addressing the audience as well. Um, and our second partner there is the South African Department of Energy, who do play a leading role in the event as well. And we normally have the Energy Minister participating. Just in terms of what we're going to be doing at um, Africa Energy in Darba, this is the second year we've, we've joined them as trade association partner. Um, we will also, just in terms of our association with them, what we're going to also be doing, we're working very closely with Liz and her team to get support from the DTI to have a lot of publicity around this event, um, especially because it's the 10th um, year of Africa Energy in Dava, but also more importantly, because we are now quite heavily associated and embedded with it. Um, we will have over 30 of our member companies uh, exhibiting at this event, including 12 SMMEs. We've got a mandate from the government to ensure that we bring along our small and medium-sized enterprises, and especially our emerging exporters. We will also be hosting, as I said, 25 delegates from uh, five African uh, countries. Um, we also will be launching at that event what we're calling our Africa Energy Consultants. Um, we have identified so far three individuals um, who are ex-CEOs and heads of energy utilities on the African continent, who we would like to um, position with our members as the experts on the African continent that they can work with. Now, this is quite an important thing for us, and it, it, it comes back and it talks back to the fact that we are trying to make sure that the Africanness starts to be embedded in what we do. We're not saying we don't want other people to assist us in terms of developing our infrastructure, but Africans need to be involved in what's going on and we need to participate. And we also need to be the people that also provide knowledge in terms of what we want for our continent. So these particular, these three individuals have been CEOs of some major utilities over a long period of time. They are now consulting in their own countries. Um, so we've got two from East Africa and one from Zambia. And they will be coming in to 
explain their experience, what they do currently in their consulting space, and see how they can position themselves to also help our members. Because quite often when we go into these countries, you need somebody on the ground who knows the system, who knows the key players. Um, and so these are the people that will help. Um, but more importantly, I think we also need to find more and more in these spaces when we're having discussions and dialogues and engagements, we have to have African voices inputting into what's been said. So that's why we're launching those. We've also secured key stakeholders to participate at Africa Energy in Daba. I mentioned before Trade Invest Africa. That's a division of the DTI that is specifically um, looking at how to assist private sector engage with the African continent. One of the key mandates of uh, TIA, Trade Invest Africa, is to not just look at South African exports onto the African continent, but how does South Africa engage in terms of investing on the African continent? Uh, we, as you all know, um, uh, you know, the balance of trade between South Africa and a lot of the African countries is mainly in South Africa's favor. We're trying to turn that around. So one way of doing that is for us to say, how then do we work with comp uh, um, companies and entities in those countries to create businesses that are able to manufacture and produce products that can then be re-exported back into South Africa? <laughs> <laughs>